So let's take a look at how join path can help us with string concatenation or the less technical term string gluing together. When you're working with system paths, you're not always going to have the perfect format as you can see in this array of paths that I have here. I have one without the trailing delimiter, I have one with the trailing delimiter and a mix of those same items. And I want to attach test.ps1 to the end of all of those. If I use the regular means of uh, attaching strings together, then you're going to see some problems. And there are the problems. The delimiter is missing here. These ones are all okay. It's missing here. I could add the delimiter to this part, but then it's going to mess up all the ones that were good before. So there's an easier way of attaching those strings together and keeping the delimiters in working order. And that's by using the join path commandlet. You supply it the path that you would like to join the child to and the child path is supplied as a parameter in child path. And you'll notice that I'm supplying it an array of paths and I don't have to use for each. I can simply run it like this and it will give us better results and I can even remove the backslash there and it gives us the same results and that's the point of join path is to make it really easy to come up with clean paths when you're trying to join strings together. Now there's one other thing that you can do this is not testing if those paths exist but you can add resolve to the end of this and this is kind of like using test path at the same time with these paths so when I run this you'll notice that I got a bunch of errors here but at the top I have these three and that's because these first three uh, strings are correct there is a file called test in folder stuff on my desktop and these folders exist as well with test and all these errors were thrown out because it could not resolve those paths they do not exist and you would think that you could use try catch in this uh, situation to have it handle the errors but for whatever reason try catch does not work in this situation so I found a way around that and let's take a look at how we can do that so we do need to use a for each here which is what this symbol is it's the alias for for each and we're supplying those paths one by one to join path and we're still giving it the same file path we're still using resolve but at the end of this we're telling the error action to silently continue which will suppress these errors down here that we saw from join path then I'm using the automatic variable in PowerShell which when you have a dollar sign and a question mark it will return a boolean value and that boolean value is based off of whether the previous command was successful or not and this symbol right here is a shorthand notation for not so what I'm evaluating in this if statement is if the last command did not run successfully then I want you to run this block of code and this block of code is going to send the folder that did not resolve correctly to the host in red lettering and it's going to add it to a different array called invalid so when I run this you'll notice instead of getting a whole bunch of ugly error messages we have our three strings that did resolve correctly and then we have our other three strings which does not did not resolve correctly laid out to us in red so it's very easy to see what happened and we also have a variable here called invalid that contains those strings that did not work so we could do further processing of those invalid uh, strings and our valid strings were joined successfully we could add them to a different variable if we wanted so that's a little bit of the join path commandlet it makes it really simple to concatenate or glue together strings of paths and if you want to resolve those paths then you can add resolve to the end and make sure that they exist there and that's it join path thanks for watching